Hey, hey guys, FHGTV here, and I am back again. So in this video, I'm going to be going over why a 50mm lens is necessary for any photographer or videographer or anybody getting into photography or videography. So these are my reasons why. So first off, to clarify, my lens is a 50mm prime lens, and prime meaning that it doesn't zoom. So there's a difference in between a prime lens and a zoom lens. A prime lens basically means it doesn't zoom, <laughs> and a zoom lens means it zooms the more you learn. That's very simplified, but that's pretty much how it works. Now my other lens I have is a Panasonic 14 to 42 millimeter zoom lens, which is what I'm using to film this video here. And it's a very, very good lens. I love the autofocus, I love how sharp it is, and I like the zoom sometimes. The only disadvantage with zoom lenses sometimes are they're a little darker and you can get some distortion and poor image quality when you zoom and that's just something that's expected in most zoom lenses, especially cheaper ones like what I have. And like I said, zoom lenses tend to be a lot darker, and this one I have here is only a 5.6 aperture. That's as big as it can get, and so it can't let as much light into it as my 50mm can, which is an f1.8 aperture. And as you can see here, it has a little less depth of field. So without further ado, these are the reasons why I like 50mm lenses. So first off, it has more depth of field. So 50 millimeter lenses really have a lot of depth of field when you're taking photos. So for example, this is great for portraits when the background's blurred out and the front's clear. So if you don't know, depth of field basically is the background's blurred and the focus is on the subject. And it puts a lot of separation in between the two. And so 50 millimeter lenses are really great at doing that. They really blur out the background and really sharpen the foreground, and that's just how they focus. And even older lenses like mine, mine's an old Canon uh, FD, I think. Yeah, it's an old Canon FD 50mm lens. It's manual, it doesn't have autofocus or anything, but it's still a pretty sharp lens. You start to notice a little bit of blurring and stuff when you have a 4K camera like this. But with my old camera, I really didn't notice a lot of that at all. Second reason why I like the Nifty 50 best is because it's better for darker shots. So since this lens has a bigger aperture, which my friend Rory did a video on aperture that really explains how it works if you're curious. Since it has a bigger aperture, the lens can let more light in. So basically that makes better for darker shots in darker situations or night or whenever. Whenever you have a darker setting to take a photo in. So since it lets more light in, you're able to get a brighter shot in a darker setting. Number three is its compact size. So I've worked with a lot of different lenses. Some lenses are stupid big, like some of the zoom lenses are just huge. And then other lenses are kind of in between, like the zoom lens I have here. And this lens here is pretty small, even with the adapter on it. If I take the adapter off, it's even more compact, so it's perfect for traveling if you don't want to have too big of a lens to carry around and it's more incognito, I guess, if you have it on your uh, camera. But that's one of the cool advantages to having a lens like this. Fourth reason why I choose a Nifty 50 is it's relatively cheaper compared to some lenses out there. And this varies depending on what brand you get, but generally it doesn't tend to go over 500 or even less than that. Uh, I was looking at a Sony 50mm lens, which is $150, but then again, if you look at um, Sigma lenses, those are ridiculous. So my reason number four is they're a lot cheaper in general. So my fifth reason is it's great for a lot of different types of photography. So you could have portrait, street photography, nature photography, close-up shots, all sorts of different shots, and this lens makes everything look great. And I've done a few LEDs comparisons and photo comparisons and all sorts of different photo tests on this channel. And you can see that how the 50mm performs in some of those. And it really looks great with some of these types of shots just because it separates the foreground from the background. And a lot of the phones right now with portrait mode kind of imitate this look to it where it um, has kind of a bouquet and it blurs out the background and focuses the foreground because it looks professional. And so this here is the real deal, and I have an adapter on it for my camera, so I can use it with my uh, Panasonic Lumix G7, and I also have another adapter for my Sony camera. So 
you don't even have to pick the most expensive option out there. You can get something used and then get an adapter for it, and it will still look great. So there you go. Those are the reasons why I think everybody should have a 50 millimeter lens. And here I am whipping out the video ideas. Wapow. I'm really struggling to think of these, but here we go. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.